Yo, what up everybody, Cardboard Moses, with you welcome. It's time for another break. We're going to be doing 2016-17 Threads Basketball. Half case break number one, eBay style. Oh yeah, I have never seen this product. So I'm uh, actually curious to see what's in here. So let's go. So we're looking at an auto and a relic per box on average. So you know how that go. Let's see what we got up in here. Six cards per pack, 20 packs per box. Oh boy. Let's see what we get up out of her. I've I've never seen this product before, so I am curious. The Marder Rosen for Angelo, dude. Again, I don't even know who the who's in this. Like I, I haven't seen the checklist. I've literally never broken this before until now. So I don't even know who has hits in this or what. So if you say a DeMar DeRozan auto, well shit, let's hit a DeMar DeRozan auto. Little Kyle Lowry action for you. Let's get her done. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go a little slow in the beginning, or at least in this first box, just because I am a fan of these, uh, you know, just cards in general. So I want to see what they look like, and then I'll, I'll speed it up as we go through the break. What is it? Leather rookies in this thing? Hobby exclusive? What? Okay. Let's see what that's about. Let's find out. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. All right. So it looks like it's gonna be one of those where I gotta flip them up. I'm not gonna do that. I'll be here forever. All right. Starting us off, we got Kyrie Irving with a relic. Uh, at the Panini VIP party, Lucas, that took place at the National uh, Sports Card Convention last year. Which, uh, you gotta spend good money to get into that. Like, like, I'm talking, like, big money to get into that. It's called VIP for a reason. We have Deontay Davis to 299 for the Grizzlies. Grizzlies with a hit. I'll be honest. I kind of dig the uh, the layout of the cards. Simple. Kind of dig it. Kind of dig it. Uh, yeah, Lucas, I, I did go. I did indeed go. Uh, I met a few... Uh, met a few athletes... You know, I don't want to brag, but I'm going to brag. Uh, Malachi Richardson to 199 with the autograph. Two autos in this box. Hey, that's always a good deal. Two autos and one relic in this box, which means we're probably going to get shorted an autograph in another box. But, hey, let's see what happens. But, yeah, I got to meet, dude, I met Primetime. I met uh, Lonzo Ball. 
uh, Latrell Sprewell, Glenn Rice, Ladanian Tomlinson, Pete Rose, uh, Tommy Hearns. I met some met some pretty cool athletes. Bringing down the house insert Sean Kemp. It's a pretty cool looking card. Inserts get sleeved anyway, so I just went ahead and sleeved it. This I'm assuming is the leather card right here. Demetrius Jackson leather card for the Celtics. It kind of like it's it's has some texture to it. You're getting jealous? Don't be. I mean, oh, I met Chris Dunn too. Jamal Murray of the Nuggets with the other leather card. Get jealous once I show you pictures to so you can see proof that I did meet those people. What the hell is this? Diamond Stone with his with a jersey card for the Clippers. That's kind of cool. I've literally never seen any of this before in my life. Two hundred ninety nine Vince Carter Grizzlies. No, they. So what happens is everyone got those pack. Like everyone got silver packs at the Panini party. You know, you're pretty much paying for them, dude. It costs thousands of dollars to get into those parties. Gordon Hayward for the Jazz with the jersey as well. But yeah, the uh, the the VIP packs are only for the VIP attendees and uh, so that's why you know you, if you see them on eBay it's because that person went to the uh, went to the event now if you actually want to see pictures I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to take uh, take some time from the break just just to flex on you one time just just to flex just a little flex action if I can find the video that is or the pictures I should say well I could show you one there's me and Lonzo right and that's me and Glenn Rice so your boy your boy was in Chicago Illinois your boy was out there your boy your boy was out there that's me in the middle of the street, because I don't give a fuck. But yeah, I went. Uh, I have a lot more pictures, but uh, I'm not that kind of dude. I need top loaders. Let me get that. Gotta throw up the 305 all day, every day, Tomas. Come on, dog. That yo, I, I verbatim. I told the guy, I told the kid, I was like, dude, because every like, bro, he had it. It was the longest line to see this guy, right? So I was like, bro, everybody was taking like lame ass pictures. Like nobody was like really talking to him. Like everybody would just you know shake his hand. I mean, let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. There's a bunch of old white dudes. That went to the VIP party, and uh, I was a, I was one of the very few. Uh, I guess compared to them, I was a kid, right? So I was pretty much the only kid there. So when I saw the athletes, man, I started geeking out, and I, I took really cool pictures with everybody, um, except Deion Sanders. That guy's kind of an asshole. So with Lonzo, everyone's like, "Yo." Like like I said, everybody you know shaking his hand or saying, "Hey man, good luck, good luck to uh you know good luck to you in the fucking draft or whatever in the in the you know in the league or whatever blah blah blah." But when I came up, I came in like this. You feel me? I came in, boom. Already, if you're from the hood, that boom, I gave him dap. You know what I'm saying? So we we lock up and we snap and everything. That's how you know it's real. Yeah, I did forget to add that. That's true. Um, 
So I, you know, I was chopping it up with him for a little bit. Security was like, yo, hurry up. Lonzo is a really fucking cool dude. Lonzo was like, nah, he's straight. He's cool. Dude, I talked to Lonzo for like five minutes, bro. Dude is super cool, man. Super chill. Really laid back. So he's like, all right, bro. We held up the line long enough. Let's take this picture. And then I was like, hi, for sure. We started laughing and shit. And I was like, bro, how about instead of just a regular ass picture, you put up LA and I'm going to put up that 305 because, you know, we was chopping it up. Like I said, we was chopping it up. So I was like, yo, I'm going to throw up that 305. He's like, for sure, I'm going to throw up that LA. Took the picture. The rest is history, dog. And I, I tagged him in it. I don't think he's going to fucking see it no time soon because that dude's big time now. But yeah, man, I actually, I got to meet him and I, got, I talked to him for, I talked to him for like five minutes. And really cool kid, man. Really humble kid. You know, I don't know what you guys perceive of him. But off based off the conversation I had with the guy, super humble kid. Uh, really well spoken. I got nothing but good things to say to him. Uh, you know, and on the way out, you know, after having uh, taken a picture or whatever, they and they pretty much tell me to keep it fucking moving. I was like, yo, bruh. Watch out when you play when you play against the Heat, cause we gonna bust your ass. And he just starts laughing. <laughs> but yeah, the VIP event was cool. You know, I got some free swag. Always like getting free swag. You know, I got a hat. I got got some got a T-shirt. Got some cool shit. Uh, also. I, I got silver packs as well. You get like a big ass row of silver packs with like exclusive stuff in there. But of course, I didn't get to keep that. Had to give it to, to, to the Godfather Gelf so he could flip it and make his money back because, you know, he's the one that paid for the tickets. So I figured, hey, why not? So I don't give a fuck about these cards, to be honest with you. I'll buy a few. Huh. I mean, if you got the money, what they what they going for? Hmm. Curious. You could probably get something really nice in there. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I got so caught up in talking shit that uh, I forgot to put the, the break up. This is 16, 17, Panini. Threads. Basketball. Uh, half case. Typing with one hand is so weird. Uh, number one. And put it on the screen here. So people know what we're doing. All right, let's continue. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna more or less kind of fly through it. Denzel Valentine with a jersey to 189, and it's autographed. That's actually kind of cool. The die cut Denzel Valentine auto. Pretty nice. What else? Hey, a rookie Ben Simmons. Might as well sleeve that up. That's nice. I wonder how much that rookie Ben Simmons goes for. 
Dion Waiters to 189 for the Heat. Jerseys are pretty slick, especially uh, when they're autographed. For the Celtics, Avery Bradley in the jersey. Hit one autograph already. What else can happen? We have here Patrick McCall with the leather insert for the Warriors. Then there. Two to three dollars for the uh, Ben Simmons base out of threads, huh? That's a, I, I would say that's not too bad. Thumb Maker for the Bucks with the leather insert. For the Bucks, Thumb Maker with the jersey die cut insert. To 199, Dorian Finney Smith for the Mavericks. And here for the Rockets, Brent Barry to 99, the relic for the Rockets. All right, that's it for that box. Oh, man, there's a bunch of base. So I can only assume we're uh, doing veteran base deal. Lot business. It's going to take a while. It's going to take some time. There's a lot of cards here. What up, Dan? There you go, Dan. That's the kind of attitude you got to have, baby. Positivity is what it's all about. Let me respond to this human being real fast Oh, great, Dan. Thank you for that. I needed that knowledge. Appreciate you, man. Well, what would I do without you? Let me know.
All right, enough of that. Damn, Dan. Sorry to hear that. Uh, Lucas, I do got green packs. But, uh, what are you talking about? You talking about eBay stuff? Yeah, I'm not going to give you a green pack, Lucas, but I will give you a random pack of cards. Because, uh, we do that regardless once you win the bid. But, uh, I'm not giving you green packs, Lucas. Sorry. That's like me saying, yo, Lucas, I just pulled you a one-on-one fucking Kobe Bryant card. You're going to give me 25% of your ink of what you get for selling the card, right? You, you're obviously going to tell me to go fuck myself, right? Kind of the same thing in reverse. Hey, man, so if I go hitless, bro, are you going to do something for me? Uh, no. Nobody told you to bid. That, that kind of really pisses me off for e from eBay people. Hey, bro, I went hitless on this thing, man. What can you do for me? Uh, not a goddamn thing. Kids these days are, are so entitled. Uh, the spore, I think it's either football or baseball, I think. What is this? Buddy Heald of the Kings is not numbered or anything, but it's nice looking. Buddy Heald rookie card. Probably not going for much, but whatever. It's gonna get it was gonna get sleeved up anyway. I just knocked it out. Deron Williams to 189 for the Mavericks. Man. Well this goes actually to the Cavaliers. He's in a Maverick uniform, but it goes to the Cavs. What happened to that guy's career, man? He used to be one of the best point guards in the game. He just fell off out of nowhere. This is very true. This is essentially gambling. You know, I try, I try to kind of sugarcoat it for people, but I think I'm just not going to do that anymore. You're gambling, dog. Tell me the last time a casino gave you any of your money back. I'll wait. Damian Lillard. Oh, I was hoping for an autograph. That would have been crazy. Well, this is an autograph. To 299, Jake Lehman of the Blazers with an auto. Yeah, I agree, man. D. Will was disgusting in Utah. Because after that, I think he had like one good season with the Nets. And then after that, he just started sucking. Injuries. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, listen, if you go to a casino. But, yeah, but at, let me ask you a question, though. When's the last time you lost and asked for some money back? How, many, how, how much money did the casino give you back when you asked for that money back? Out of all, let's say if you let's say you you lose your money at the casino. Tell me, when's the last time they gave you some of that money back? For the Raptors, Jacob Poitel with a patch. You feel me, Travis? Like. That's, that's, that's what I'm comparing it to because Homeboy was like, yo, if I go hitless, you're going to give me some green packs? And I was like, fuck no, bruh. Like, what the hell? And I started comparing it to because this is, this is literally gambling. You're literally gambling. If you, if you choose not to read the description of the listing, then quite frankly, you're an idiot. How, 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 could, you put, how could you put your money towards something... Without knowing what you're getting yourself into. Right? So this is essentially gambling. 
So what I was telling him, I was like, well, listen, man, when you go to the casino and you lose all your money, try try asking them for some of that money back and see what they tell you, brother. They'll laugh in your face. You know what they'll do? They'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. Here's a here's a gift card, so you can uh, here's twenty free bucks, so you can gamble some more. And it's not like twenty dollars that you could take home and you know go cry yourself to sleep over some McDonald's dollar menu. Oh no, that's only twenty dollars you can spend at that casino if they do that for you. Ha <laughs> ha Dan. Uh, just for making me laugh, I got you. Katie, don't even bother with Lucas. He he's he he's just a kid trying to sit at the big boys' table. That's all. Or I should say the big kids' table. Let's keep it gentle. Gent uh, gender neutral. I would say that's probably common, Lucas. If you, you know, go to a game and get your stuff autographed, then it's usually children that do that. No disrespect, but if I'm an athlete and a grown ass man is asking me for an autograph, nine times out of ten, I'm gonna say no. If I do say yes, I'm going to be like, well, give me money, bro. Got, listen, Katie and Dan, I will wish the Eagles luck if you wish the Jaguars luck. As long as the Patriots don't win, I'm happy. That's that is just me. Exactly, Katie. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. I'm gonna make some sacrifices tonight for the Eagles, and y'all gotta make some sacrifices so that Brady can snap his neck or something. I mean, I'm not trying to kill the guy, but, you know, just severely injure him to the point where he can't play anymore. This is a Malcolm Brogdon jersey die cut. That's the rookie of the year for 16-17, in case you didn't know. We have Draymond Green with a patch for the Warriors. For the Warriors, Andre Iguodala, the swingman insert. I got an autograph just staring at me right there. I'm going to get to that in a second. For the Blazers, Jersey die cut, Damian Lillard. Oh, I, re I respect the fuck out of Tom Brady, which is precisely why I want his neck broken. Because uh, I'm tired of him uh, being so great. It's time for the next generation to come through. Malachi Richardson to 189. New Jersey die cut auto. I don't know how I feel about this product. To be real with you. It looks kind of nice. But it's really hard to hit. Brandon Ingram with the leather insert. Twenty nine Rudy Gobert of the Jazz. Ooh. I agree with everything you said, Dan. Can you adopt me already? For the Nuggets. Juan Hernan Gomez, the leather insert. Yeah, exactly. 
JDC, being a Dolphin fan is not easy. How do you let go of your best player who wants to stay in Miami, man? Like, come on. Pay the man. Wesley Matthews to 189 for the Mavs. Watch him go to the Patriots, too. I see it. He's going to be traded within the division, and he's going to go to the Patriots of all, pe of all people. Not even traded. He's going to sign with the Patriots. I, I didn't see his press conference, to be honest with you. Uh, so I don't know what he was acting like. So I'll see that later on tonight with a blunt in my face. You know, I'm still waiting on my Ray Finkel jersey. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. And I might just be done in time for the 1 o'clock break. Certified basketball. I want to be honest with you guys. Unless I see something really nice, I'm not a fan of this product. Not a fan. Aside from the fact that it's a pretty weak draft class, not a fan. I'm going to completely ignore the fact that you just said you're Dolphins fans second. And I'm just going to choose to read that you are Dolphins fans. That That's all my selective memory can handle right now. Uh, Phoenix is breaking at 2 in the morning, Lucas. Well, you could have found the answer yourself just by reading the description uh, of the listing. But I know you don't give a fuck. Oh no, well, Dan and Katie, I, you know, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I, I get it. I get it. You guys, you guys are taking up an extra notch for your Eagles, as you should. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm really, I'm ready to be done with this. So, let's fly through this thing. I really don't want to do this anymore. Jalen Brown, that's actually, uh, I kind of want to do this now. Cause that's actually a pretty sweet auto for the Celtics to 189. Jalen Brown, that's actually really nice. That is a good card. All right. Now I'm gonna fly through. Lucas, is that English you're attempting to speak? Cause I don't really understand anything. Juan Hernan Gomez of the Nuggets with the jersey die cut. What else? I'm playing no more. I want this done and over with. There's a Ben Simmons rookie card right there. That will get sleeved up, obviously. All rookies, inserts, and hits get sleeved. But um, I'm done with this, so I'm just going to fly through this. Alex English, Nuggets, Jersey. Sounds good, Katie. We got Demetrius Jackson of the Celtics with the leather insert. Well, that's not going to fit in there, dumbass. Another leather, Jamal Murray. Nuggets. 
What else? To 189, Giorgio's Papagiannis with the auto. Nothing there. What do we got here? For the Heat, Justice Winslow. New Jersey die cuts. Uh, do they smell like leather? Nah, they, I, I tried. But they kind of do feel like leather. It has a texture to it, so it's kind of cool. If it's worth money, it's even cooler. And by money, I mean, you know, a good amount of money. I'm sure someone will pay for it. What exactly? I don't know. All right, this is the halfway point. We're on box six right now. I'm about to fall asleep. I don't know about you guys. This thread's just putting me to sleep right now. I spend more time opening the packs than I do actually going through them. What you got for me, Tomas? You save fifteen dollars on your car insurance by switching to Geico. Ooh, nice, nice. That's a good deal right there. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna start that Phoenix break early. By the time I'm done with this, it's gonna be time for totally certified basketball. You know, my whole thing with insurance. You're making him pay, aren't you? He pays for the insurance. To 189, Ty Lawson. For the Kings. See something crazy. A 101, something. Wow me. We have Brandon Ingram. That was his, I think that was his rookie year for the Lakers patch. So he's paying along for the for winning the bid, paying shipping and handling and the insurance. There you go. Dennis Schroeder of the Hawks jersey die cut. That guy gives me problems in 2K. Then again, my dude's only ranked a 74, so I got ways to go. Front row seat of Russell Westbrook of the Thunder insert. Two one ninety nine Devin Booker Sons. Carl Anthony Towns, I'm assuming, for the Timberwolves. Jersey die cut. What else we got? Got a leather insert here for Karis Levert of the Nets. I didn't say, I don't know what I was going to say to myself, you know, thinking out loud like I usually do. 
Ron Harper to 99 for the Bulls, the autograph. That's nice. Bulls with a hit. What have we got? What have we got? We have another leather for Denzel Valentine of the Bulls. All right, that's it for that break. Four left for that for that box anyway. Still got four boxes in this break to go through. We get in there, baby. We get in there. Oh, you mean squeeze like uh like a lady? Cause that's that's you know in the hood, a squeeze should be known as a as a lady friend. Is that what you mean? Cause if that's the case, they're all annoying, Tomas. It's just which one you're willing to put up with. Cause they're all annoying. They're all succubuses. They're all going to drain you of, of your soul and your essence. And once they're done sucking your soul, they're going to move on to the next one. Because that's what they do. They're evil, vile creatures. And I still can't help but love them. You know, the way I usually deal with those, I just, I shut them. I just ignore them. And they either go away, or they end up knocking on my front door. Either way, whatever. What, Tomas? That is not annoying. That is uh, psycho. And I hope you didn't fall for that because, you know, she's going to hit you with the, oh, you're the baby daddy. You got to pay child support. Give me money. That shit's all a business, bro. When's the last time a baby daddy got money for fucking being a baby daddy? I'm, I'm asking an honest question because I don't know. I feel like the woman has complete power over that situation. Just because she had the boy, the, the, the boy or the girl, whatever it is, in her body for like nine months. They feel entitled to all rights. Like, fuck that, bro. Like, I gave you a key component for you to make that thing in the oven. I gave you, I gave you the ingredients. I gave you the ingredients and then you made a, a baby cake. But I provided the baby batter. So where's my credit? The Bulls, Jimmy Butler, the Jersey Dikers. Those Jersey Dikers are kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Panini Threads, I'm not going to lie. I don't really like you, but some of the stuff you have is pretty cool, like the Jersey Dikers. Andre Roberson to 189 for the Thunder. I was going to say, Tomas, those are the ones that... uh. Stare at you while you sleep. Lamarcus Aldridge to 189 for the Spurs. It's all about that MGTOW lifestyle. Ain't that right? Rah, rah. Juan Hernan Gomez of the Nuggets with a patch. <sighs> Getting bored here. Where's the hotness? Damian Jones, Warriors, leather insert. Jesus Christ, Tomas. If that's not every single woman walking this planet right now, I don't know what is. 
Women are so selfish, man. Seriously. Women are some of the most selfish creatures walking the planet. You know who's not selfish, though? Zach Levine. Giving the Timberwolves some love to 99. See how I segued that? That's some professional shit right there. Anyway. Got each one more. See, when they're backwards, I just assume they're autographs. All right. Fair enough. They were all backwards. That would have been real dumb of me. For the Nets, I think that's Jeremy Lin. Yep. Jeremy Lin. With the Nets die cut. Oh, Rara, ra, I've been caught on. I just, uh, I like to uh, to play Boo Boo the Fool. You know, I find that, that when I act stupid, people treat me like I'm stupid. And then uh, <laughs> it gives me freedom to do whatever I want. Because uh, I've already set the bar extremely low. And then from there, I just surprise them. Like, oh my god, I didn't know you were that smart. Oh my god, I knew you could do that. Oh my god, I knew you. Jesse, who are you? I don't know who you are. And I'd be like, yeah, bitch. You don't know shit. Hold up, Tomas. So, you, 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 you took her virginity? Is that what I'm understanding right now? I've never taken a chick's virginity. And I don't think I would want to. That would be uh, a little awkward. Especially for me at this point where you know I've been around the block a few times. And I've actually, I've had that where I've hooked up with a good friend of mine. And, you know, women are emotional creatures, man. And they're going to catch feelings at some point. Even if they're the ones that tell you don't catch feelings. That means they already caught feelings. So at that point, you kind of just got to back away. That's why I use, I use the dentist system. I use the dentist system. It's pretty flawless. You definitely opened up that box, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So, hey, you got to deal with the repercussions. But yeah, I, I've, I've been in a, I mean, not, not to the baby point, but I've been in a similar situation. And it sucks, you know, it sucks losing a friend. But, you know, platonic relationships with a woman and a man very rarely work. But I, I hear you, because I've been there. I've been there. Shit, one of my best friends was a chick. And, you know, I could, dude, I could talk to that girl about anything, dude. Like, I, I, I really, I genuinely, even to this day, I love that chick like a, like, like a family member, you know? And one thing led to another. We ended up hooking up, and we did that for a while, and I didn't feel the same way she felt, and... I could probably kind of broke her heart. But hey, man, I got into it. I thought I was pretty vocal about it. I, I'm pretty blunt, too. I told her straight up. I was like, look, man, I don't I don't want a relationship. I don't foresee a relationship. Like, if you want to do this, like, I need you to know that I'm not going to take it anywhere with you. Like, I'm not going to pursue a relationship with you at any point. Like, I know who you are. I love you as a friend, and that's it. It happened once. It was a mistake. If it happens again, then I don't know what to tell you. And it just kept happening over and over and over again. And then eventually, you know, at first she was super cool. They're always really cool at first. And then out of nowhere, they're going to fucking rear their ugly head around. They're going to be like, so what are we? And then you're like, uh, we humans, dog. You hit her with the John Legend. We're just ordinary people. Don't do that. You might get kicked in the dick. Speaking from experience. You know what I found out? Kicking a chick in her lady parts also hurts. Not that I would know. 
post up anyway. Uh, for the Warriors, Stephen Curry with the jersey die cut. Oh, I'm almost done with this. Denzel Valentine of the Bulls. Leather insert. Uh, for you have no idea. Got Denzel Valentine for the Bulls. Jersey die cut again. We pulled one of his already autographed. Oh, she was a Hooters girl. Huh, Tomas. Yeah, I'd be sad to let that go too, man. To 199, Jamal Murray of the Nuggets. Damn these women and their lustful features. My thing with dude, I, I love boobies. My thing with them is like they're just they're just sacks of fat that sit on their chest. But it drives me crazy. Like it's so annoying that women know what they what they got. I hate it. That's why anytime I meet a chick, I'm kind of an asshole. Because I like to bring them back down to earth. Especially if they're out in a group of friends. I make an effort to talk to the ugliest chick in the group. And really ignore the other good looking chicks. And then they don't know how to react to that. Just like, I don't know how to react to this because that's pretty sick. That's a Blake Griffin autograph, folks. Numbered to 99 for the Clippers. That is nice. To, uh, I feel you, Tomas. I'm, I'm, I'm all about everything. I'm a boo booty man. Like, I like it. I like it all. If you're a girl, if you're a woman, I love you. But I'm not going to lie. I, I, am a, I am a titty man first and foremost. And every chick I've hooked up with has had some gazongas on her. So I've been pretty blessed, but I would like, uh, no, actually I've had some, some big booty chicks too. That's fun. That's real fun. But yeah, you got to like them tig old bitties, dog. And I don't know what it is about them. Like they're literally just sacks of fat that chill on the chest. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how is that attractive? But it is. Oh my God. I'm about to go to 8th Street and pick me up a little a little lady of the night. Fuck it. I won't eat ramen noodles for like a month. But Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Jesse going to get himself some strange tonight. Until, uh, until I buy that fleshlight. I mean, for at you, I'm, I'm right there with you, man. I'm... <laughs> I'm right there with you. Preach, brother, preach. All right, so after this, well, it's already 1 o'clock. Hey, so after this, I got totally certified basketball. Oh, dude, yeah, it's, it's beyond that. The Rip City After Dark has been taking effect. So after this, I got totally certified basketball. That shouldn't take too long. And then at 2, I got Phoenix football. But when I'm done with who knows? We'll see. We might just do breaks back-to-back -back with a very little interruption. So we'll be a little late on the T-shirt. If you're watching, I'm doing totally certified uh, basketball for eBay right after this. And then we're finishing the night with Phoenix football. And then I'm out of here. And y'all see me again on Tuesday. When we have new stuff in the store. Hey. Oh, that's actually kind of a cool idea. I kind of want to get like a, a robe or something. Like... Like a, uh, what's that dude's name? I forgot his name already, but he passed away last year. The dude that made Playboy? What's that guy's name? Hugh Hefner. I want one of those robes. One of those player pimp robes. I'll throw that on, like, after midnight. Like, yeah. I'll put a filter on my voice so you only hear, like, the bass. Oh, yeah. 
Rookie signature for Timothy Luwabu Cabarro to 299. Let's go into the Sixers. Who's betting on tomorrow's games? Tomas, are you betting on the games though? To 189, Jacob Poetel. That goes to the Raptors. And Blake Griffin patch to go along with his autograph. Who got money down on, on the games tomorrow, though? That's what I want to know. Who put in that money where their mouth is? Nothing there. Well, there's a Jeremy Lin jersey die cut here for the Nets. Ben Simmons rookie card there. DeMontis a bonus of the Thunder with the leather inserts. Horse racing? That sounds fancy for you. You must be rolling in the dough if you're doing that. Malachi Richardson of the Kings, the leather insert. To 199, Clint Capella for the Rockets. What else we got? Here. Probably got another die cut in here. I thought I felt something. That's what she said. Yep, there it is. For the Jazz, Rodney Hood. Jersey die cut. Well, that's pretty cool for at you. And it's time for the last box. Mojo! Let's be done with this. Aside from the Blake Griffin autograph, it's been tough to do this, man. Alrighty. Good luck, everyone. It's time to throw my trash away, as you can see. Come on. There it is. Trying to remember Phoenix football. I know T-shirt won't take too long. But Phoenix football, trying to remember if that takes a while or not. I think it does. That was a tough one. I feel you, Tomas. I feel you, dog. There's a lot of people that have applications for that stuff, man. 
All right, you guys. Let's see what's in this. Good luck to you. We got the Montes a bonus. You ready? There it is. To 199 rookie signature for the Thunder. Last box mojo. Right. What else? We got Jacob Poetel of the Raptors with the leather insert. For the Wizards, we have Tomas Satoransky. Leather insert there for the Wiz. The Wiz. To 189, Joachim Noah of the Knicks. They can ban you for using that? There's a lot of people that use that in this room. I will not say their name, but trust me when I tell you, there's a lot of them. Scal Lavisier there of the Kings. Why would they ban them though? That's like, that's just ingenious to do that. Bringing down the house insert there for the Hawks, Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard kind of balled out today. He balled out a little bit against the Heat. Kevin Durant with the jersey die cut for the Warriors. Almost done with this. Got a patch here for DeAndre Jordan of the Clippers. And then we're going to finish things off here. Well, no Panini points. That's always good. Number 7 out of 10, Justice Winslow. Or the Heat. Nice. And that's it. Woo! We're done. All right, let's recap this and keep it moving. So our autographs were Sabonis Thunder, Cabarro Sixers, a Blake Griffin, Jersey Die Cut Auto, 299, that's pretty sweet, Levine Timberwolves, Harper Bulls, Brown Celtics, that's actually really sick, Malachi Richardson for the Kings, Layman Blazers, Denzel Valentine Bulls, Richardson Kings and Deontay Davis Grizzlies. That was the break. 2016-17 Panini Threads Basketball. Half case break number one. eBay style. Thank you all very much. We'll get that right out too.